Hi Scott, this is Kevin. Uh, I thought I'd go ahead and put this on video so that it might make it a little bit easier for you to understand the, the new ways to display the tournament results and the weekly results, that sort of thing. Uh, so currently, uh, what you have on the site uh, is something that you typed in, of course, and looks okay, but uh, we want to make this in a table and make it an easy way for you to, um, to edit that table, to uh, create it, and to actually put it up on the site. So what we're going to use is uh, called WP Table Reloaded. So if we go to the dashboard uh, under Posts, okay, click on Posts and actually the little drop down, you'll see the w, WP Table Reloaded, uh, and this is where you put in the tables. Uh, so if somebody gives you a bunch of results, uh, you'll go in here and you'll hit Add New Table type in a, a table name, so tournament results um, for sample tournament um, Schaefer, what, you know, whatever is going to be uh, something you can remember and what it's about. And you probably want to put a date on here um, so that uh, as you add events you end up um, uh, you know, knowing what events are what. So. Uh, you'll need to know how many rows and how many columns. So if they give you the top 10 places, you'll need 10 rows. Uh, you probably need three columns. That'll be for place, the uh, team name or the person's name, and their score. So we'll do three and like 10, and hit add table. And when we do that, it creates a page here that we can put in uh, the results. So the first place was harder with, I don't know, a 72, and so forth, okay? And as you build your table then, um, uh, there's a lot of things on this page that may look intimidating at first. You gotta have to realize that most of it you don't need. Uh, if you scroll down on this page, for example, uh, this area here, is to change the table so if you need to add another row or add another column after you start it you can do that um, most of this you won't use if you scroll down even further uh, we've set this all up uh, the way we believe you're going to want it um, you'll want to make sure that the table head is unchecked for some reason that keeps checking for us uh, I'm not real sure why and then we also uh, have enabled the row highlighting. Uh, I, I don't know if I can save those changes and, and permanently, but um, we'll we'll see what happens there. So um, we'll tell it to save and and uh, uh, so when you're done with the uh, entering the the data into the table, uh, you just choose save and go back, okay, from any of those buttons, and it will enter it in uh, as a table. Uh, and, and show you in the list of tables uh, that it exists there. Now I'm going to go to the tournament results for Twin Lakes because that's the one I used for an example uh, in this this um, this testing here. Uh, so we've if you go to edit, you show that we've entered in the results that you had already uh, on the page. So these are the same things. Uh, but if we uh, want to put those up on the page, then in, in a post. That, that new table we can do that and you just go in and edit or, or create a new post like you normally would okay so tournament well I'll call it test so that we know tournament results um, for 25 or whatever it was uh, so you, you know give it a good title <laughs> better than that one and then uh, uh, you'll also type in some some uh, text uh, about uh, uh, about the tournament or whatever. Uh, so when you're ready to to actually put in your your table, that's where I'm interested. So you'll just leave some space between the text, and then you click on the table button, and it'll bring up a list of tables that we have. So this is the one we just created. This is the one we want to use for the test. So we hit insert, and it creates a little uh, um, short code, is what that's called. Uh, you don't need to worry about it, but uh, that, that represents where the tables are going to be. So you make sure you check the correct uh, category. 
and when we hit publish, uh, that'll get that page up there on your site. And then I'll show you the difference between the formatted table and the way you had it typed in before. So that's the one you had typed in before. Let's hit refresh, see the new post here. And there you go. So this is the new table. So it looks like this versus this. So it's very nice, clean, orderly. You can add multiple columns. It'll automatically format it correctly for the, uh, for the post. And if you go into the post details, you can see that it's still there. And it gives a nice, uh, nice look to it. And, it. and it follows your cursor with that highlight, which is kind of cool too. Uh, if you have any questions on how to use it, let me know. Either email me at kevinabackslashtech.com or give me a call at 319-561-1600. Uh, thanks again. Enjoy working with you, and good luck.